My sister Hannah picked up some rescued puppies that were found literally dumped and abandoned on the side of the road. Hannah, do you want to try some? No, no, no! You want to give me the kisses? Yes, please give me all the kisses in the world. Now what we want to do is we just want to open this up and these puppies are doing it really nicely and just like that. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day And for those of you that are new here, well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle Now if you guys saw the title and thumbnail you will know for today's video that today's video of course is an absolutely insane one My sister Hannah picked up some rescued puppies that were found literally dumped and abandoned on the side of the road Guys we've rescued puppies before the last ones we rescued were at my buddy Levi's farm down the street but to find Find these puppies abandoned and dumped on the side of the road well it's really sad that this would happen so guys if you want to know what kind of puppies we have where they are now where the heck they were abandoned if they're gonna make it what is going on with them well guys you are in the right place and we're gonna hop right into that all right everyone we made it into our feed room so this is where we do all the food prep for all the animals this is where we got the fruits and vegetables for the monkeys the lemurs the sloths and we store our dry feeds where we got monkey biscuits, we got our dog food. So right now we got to make our dog's food. So we're getting to the end of the barrel right here. So basically for Xena, we normally give her, because we have her on a bit of a diet, we're going to give her about a, Xena's going to get about a scoop and a quarter of food. Just like that, about a scoop and a quarter. And then Zeus is going to get about two scoops. And we are going to get our second scoop right here, just like that. We got both of our dogs' food ready to go. Since Zeus is a little bit bigger, we're actually gonna give him, we're gonna give him just a little bit more. We're gonna give him about two and a scoops and a quarter. And this is like the base diet. We also add ground beef to their diet, and we also do probiotics. So we do the probiotics every single day. It's gonna keep your animal's gut health nice and happy and healthy. So we're gonna sprinkle some of that on just like that. And we're gonna do the same thing for Xena. If any of your dogs ever have runny poop, their skin is not that good. If you add probiotics to their diet every day, it should make them a lot healthier. So if you guys have been on the channel, you will know that Zeus and Xena, they actually have their own house, their own shed all to them. It is right here and they are in here. They probably smell the food. Zeus, Xena. Guys, I hear them, they're right at the door. Let's open it up right now in three, two, one. Hi guys, oh my goodness, my doggies. Zeus and Xena, hello my kids. My kids, come here, give me hugs, give me kisses. Oh my gosh. So these guys are so hungry, so I guess we're just gonna hold the bowls just like this. We're gonna let them eat and then we're gonna give them their medication. Zeus is eating out of my right hand and then Xena is here eating out of my left hand. These dogs are really hungry and then this is their breakfast. Now these guys get fed twice a day, every single day, 365 days a year. Now Xena is kinda scarfs her food down a lot faster than Zeus. That's why we kinda have to monitor them each and every day when they eat because if we don't monitor them, Xena will finish hers and then steal Zeus's food. And it looks like, it looks like Xena has finished her food and you can see what she's doing. She's trying to come here to steal Zeus's food. Hello, hey, you cannot do that. You must let him eat. He has to eat. So right now we've got their pills ready to go. They know what time it is. Xena is ready to give me her paw. Thank you for your paw. Now here you go. Here you go. Just like that. You can see she takes it nice and gentle. So we got Xena, her pills right here, which again, that's going to take care of fleas and ticks and heartworms and roundworms and all the nasty stuff you don't want your dogs to get. So you got to do this once a month. If you don't do this once a month, you risk your animal getting heartworms. You risk them getting other internal and external parasites, which you don't want that. If you have your pets on a good preventative, well, you got nothing to worry about. All right, guys, sit for me. Sit, sit. So you have had your medication. Now it is time for Zeusy boy. It's time for Zeus. Now what's really nice about this is my vet will actually send me the deworming in the mail. So I don't really even have to remind myself. It comes in the mail. So whenever it comes in the mail, we just hand it out. So Zeus, you ready? Zeus, can I have a paw? Zeus, paw. Not your mouth, Xena. All right, Zeus, you ready to go? Here you go, here you go. And there he goes. We want to make sure he chews it because Xena wants to steal it. We don't want to give you two doses of medications. So our dogs are fed. They're dewormed. So now the moment all of you have been waiting for, we're going to head over to my parents' house. We're going to meet up with Hannah, my sister, and we're going to check out the rescued puppies. All right, everyone. I just made it here to my parents, and I have got to go meet Hannah inside. I'm so excited to see these puppies. I've seen pictures of them. They look absolutely adorable, and it's so, so sad, the situation they, they were in. So let's head inside, and let's go find Hannah. All right, we made it into the house, and now we got to find Hannah. Hannah? Yeah? 
Okay, Hannah's here. She told me she was getting the dog food ready, so we're here. We we're back ready. in the kitchen. We've done lots of videos here, and right now we're getting the dog food ready. So, Hannah, why don't you explain to everyone what we're doing here today, why we're here? We're here to see the rescued puppies. Well, you're here to see the rescued yeah. puppies. You're going to be deworming them. I haven't seen them yet, but they look adorable. They're very, very cute, and we're also going to be feeding them because they have a very particular diet. As you can see, that's not really normal dog Wait, food. What, what, are we, what are we feeding them here today? So, it looks like we got some powder. We Got some meat. Yeah, so this is actually bone meal that helps all around to have a healthier puppy. Amazing. And the rescue also feeds their dogs raw dog food. So well, why don't we open that up? Let's, all right, let's take let's a do it. on it. Let's see. Let's take a take a look, guys. Look at that. We got some little delicious dog food. Alright, Hannah, we gotta smell this right now. You ready to take a sniff on this? No, Alright, let's ready. go. Let's go. Oh, yep, yeah, that, that doesn't smell Ugh. good. All right, Hannah, so let's get started and let's make their food. All right, so we're going to take one scoop of this and we're actually okay. going to divide it between it. We got sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, we're going to sprinkle just a little bit of that stuff, some good yummy stuff, some there good go. bone meal. That's some good stuff. We got a whole bag full of it. We got some of that. And now we're going to scoop now we're gonna up do the food. meat. All right, well, do you want... Kid, do you want me to scoop the food? Do you want to do it? Um, okay, sure. So is this a good scoop right here, Hannah? That is actually perfect. Okay, so each puppy's gonna get about this much food, just like that. Pretty much it's just like a nice big spoonful, just like that. And then what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna mix that bone meal in. You wanna make it as palatable as possible. And what that means is you wanna mix this in thoroughly. All right, and it looks like we are nice and mixed. So now the real question is, Hannah, do you wanna try some? No, no, no! So we're getting ready to go in, but we're gonna leave the food out for a second. So let's head on in right now. Three, two, down. one. Go oh cute. my goodness. Hello. These have to be the cutest, most adorable puppies that I think that I've ever seen in my life. These guys are absolutely adorable. And Hannah, how old are these things? They're so cute. Oh my gosh, wait, I, I need to get one myself. Hannah. How old are these? Where did they come from? Tell everyone the story. I kind of told everyone that they were found, what, dumped on the side of the road? So they're about six weeks old. Okay. They're actually from Georgia. So they traveled okay. all the way from Georgia because a rescue down here decided to take them in since uh -huh. there was no space up in Georgia. Okay. They were just nine in the litter, abandoned on yeah. the side of the road, no uh -huh. mom in sight. So that's how, that's their story. Okay, well, I'm glad they're here. I'm glad we're able to help these guys out. They traveled all the way from Georgia down here to South Florida. So I think we need a name for these. These guys don't have a name yet, right? Nope, they do. All right, guys, comment down below a name for these two puppies. What do we got, boy, girl? We have two, two sisters. Girls. Two sisters, all right, guys, comment down below a name for these two sisters. All right, little guy, it's time to go on in right here. So this is kind of their little holding pen for now while they're still small, where they're just starting to get mobile. Um, these guys are getting dewormed and they gotta get all their vaccines. So we want to keep them in this nice quarantine and we've got their food Hannah so what yep. we've got here we got one meal two meals so let's get it in why don't I take one and you okay are they gonna go crazy for their food yes oh my goodness these guys are scarfing down their food look at them these guys are acting like they've never eaten in their lives this is so adorable watching these little puppies eat you almost got it little guy You've almost finished it. I think this little one. Done. That one's a little bit feisty. That's yeah. pretty, this is the bigger one, and he's already devoured his food. But we, what we want to do is we want to supervise him. We don't want her to come over here and steal her sister's food. This little girl right here is a little bit smaller. Oh, no, no, no. Stay away. No, 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 no. We're going to let these two kids digest some of their food, and then we're going to take them outside to run around and play in the grass, and then we've got to deworm them for yes. parasites. Guys, these guys might have some parasites, so we got to deworm them. The puppies have eaten, and we are outside for some puppy playtime so they can run around after they ate so they can hopefully take a nice little puppy nap so hannah why don't we take them over to the grass All right, so you're bringing them it. out every single day right a couple yes. times a day a couple times a day obviously after they eat so they don't have a big mess inside because yep. that would be gross yep they're gonna do their poopies and peas outside and we bring them out here to the grass now since these guys are so young they shouldn't run away they should actually just kind of follow you just like the baby otters just like any baby animal they're gonna follow you because these guys are still dependent on us they're not independent Oh, is he, is he peeing? Yeah, they're both peeing. Wait, oh my gosh, yep, exactly what we thought, exactly what you said. These guys are gonna pee, and they are absolutely adorable. Yes, yes, hello guys, you are so cute and so nice. Here, come, come follow me. Come on guys, let's go, let's go little puppies. Come on down, come here, yeah, you're so good, so nice, hi guys. Oh yes, hello Mr. Puppy. Guys, I don't need another puppy and, or a dog. But these guys are so tempting to adopt. They're so adorable. Well, not guys, but little girls. But they are just, oh, you want to bite me? So right now, these little puppies are just getting their little teeth in. So they're going to be in that teething stage where they're going to want to bite on everything and chew. That's why it's really important to get them outside where they can chew on some grass and twigs and my fingers and chew on everything. Coda, is that you? I just heard 
I just heard a crying dog. The doggy, hello, Coda. So Coda wants to come to the puppies, but right now we're actually quarantining them, so we don't want the puppies to go near the other dogs since these guys, they just came all the way from Georgia, so come this way. That's why we don't actually have those puppies in the backyard. We keep all the other dogs in the backyard. We don't want to cross-contaminate these rescued puppies with the other dogs because, again, we're just doing preventative deworming. We're waiting on the results of the fecal that we just sent out. So we try to do everything as safely as possible. So as you guys know, these puppies were found on the side of the road in Georgia, and right now, we are getting ready to give them another dose of deworming medication. Whenever you get new animals that were living on the streets, there's a 99% chance that these guys have worms. So in coordination with the rescue, what rescue are you working with? It's called Milk Drunk Foundation. Okay, I've never heard of that, but we're doing the deworming medication. They're handling all that. They're giving us all the meds. So we got some deworming meds since these puppies are pretty much the same exact size. These puppies are gonna get the same deworming. So Hannah, why don't you hold this one? Okay. We're gonna do one at a time. So we're gonna come right here to this puppy, stick it in and just squirt it right down his throat, just like that. You did so good. You are so good and so nice. Yes, you want to give me the kisses? Yes, please give me all the kisses in the world. So we got one dose of deworming done for one puppy and now we've got to do the other puppy. So Hannah, why don't you, why don't you hold them for me, okay? Okay, I'll hold them. So Hannah's gonna hold that little puppy for me. Now what we want to do is we just want to open this up and these puppies are doing it really nicely and just like that these guys took their medication very well and I think he wants do you want to lick it? I think he likes the way it tastes, but there's nothing more here. These guys are acting so starving, even though they just ate. I really want these guys, but I know I shouldn't adopt them. So if you guys are in the South Florida area and you might want some cute little puppies for yourself, well guys, send me a DM, send me an email, comment down below if you might be interested in adopting these. Seriously, serious inquiries only, but if you are interested in adopting one of these two little girls or even both of them, well guys, let me know down below. Hannah and I have had such an incredible time having puppy playtime in the beautiful green grass. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video on these adorable rescued puppies. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment a name for these two beautiful girls. And if you guys are not yet subscribed yet to me and my sister and you want more updates on these puppies and you want to see the rest of our animal family, well guys, all you have to do is subscribe below.